Hey, what's up everyone? It's Derek from Nerd or Die, and I've been waiting a long time to show you Prestige, our first pack that has a new type of product that we're releasing. We call this an alert list, which is a hybrid between alerts and event lists. This product type basically has an alert play and then it dynamically interacts with your overlay. We've included a ton of custom options as well, enabling you to really make this work for your stream. And this pack not only contains the alert list files, but comes with standard alerts and can be used as a standard event list as well by changing just one option. We also included custom sounds and music, all while making it easy to set up and install quickly. Prestige works with Twitch, YouTube, and Mixer with Streamlabs. Let's get right into it. Before we start, I want to say that we are currently finishing up an overlay pack to fit this theme. It will be out shortly after the alert lists and alerts hit. Now, we also plan on making a more clean and minimal style alert list, so please make sure to subscribe with notifications on to catch that. In this video, we'll cover the setup and customization process on the alert list, alerts, and event lists. So please use the timestamps in the description to jump to the appropriate widget that you'd like to set up. Once you've downloaded and unzipped the files from Nerd or Die, open up the files included. You'll see a folder for the alert and event list and the standard alerts. I want to point out that the event list can be set up from the alert list. So we'll get into that a bit later. You should also notice that we've included media files we've used in this pack, as well as the music files and sounds as well. The readme file included will walk you through the entire setup process that we're going to cover in this video. Let's start by setting up the alert and event list. Click on the widget quick setup link that's found in the alert and event list folder. This will begin installing the alerts. If you like, choose create profile or widget and name it something appropriate, such as prestige. The import link will only override your event list widget as this design is an extended version of an event list. This means you can combine this event list with any other scene collections or widget profiles you've made in Streamlabs. If you want to save your old event list, it's highly recommended to do this in a new profile. Select use for the profile that you want to import into. And then once everything is imported, you'll navigate to the widget URL and copy your unique URL. Paste this URL into the browser source of your streaming software. We recommend then using a size of at least 1000 by 1000. Typically though, I put this option at the size I'm streaming at. So I usually use 1920 by 1080. This size may change depending on your customization options. If you need to scale things down, you can do so directly inside of OBS Studio or your streaming software. And if you're using Streamlabs OBS, you may not need to complete this step if your event list box is already added in. Go ahead and fire off a few events to make sure that things are working properly. Before I forget though, I want to mention that if you hit the launch button at the top, and you're using Google Chrome, and this is when you're testing the alerts, you will have to click inside of the browser window in order for the video and sound files to play properly. This is only necessary inside of Google Chrome, and if you're using OBS Studio or Streamlabs OBS, which we recommend you do to test, then you will not have this problem. Also, you might be asking, why do I hear an echo? If installed properly, you will hear sounds playing from both the Streamlabs preview area towards the top and from inside of OBS Studio or your streaming software. Again, if you're using Google Chrome, you can right click your tab at the top and hit mute site if this issue bothers you. Don't forget to unmute the site when you're done testing as it will mute sounds from the entire website in Google Chrome. Now it's time to take a look at customizing the alert list a bit more and the event list as well. After you import everything, these options and settings will be found in the event list tab. While there are the Streamlabs base options, not all of them will affect the widget. This is because of the highly customized nature of what we created. Theme and theme color will have no effect on this widget. Enable events allows you to decide which events you want to display inside of your event list or alert list widget. 
The min options lets you set how many viewers for the host bits or raids will trigger an event. Max events lets you change how many events are displayed at once. Background color is for preview purposes only, and text color in this instance will have no effect on the widget. Font allows you to pick the font family used in this package, the default of which is Orbitron, which will match the rest of the design. Animation and animation speed will have no effect on this widget here. And then fade time will hide the widget after X amount of seconds, and then setting this to zero always displays the widget. This option must be more than eight seconds if you're using the alert list. Otherwise, it will not function properly. Other options has the ability to flip the widget. For example, enabling flip Y will make the events come from the bottom and flip X will enable the animations coming from the right side. To edit where the text is, please see the custom fields. And finally, do not change the custom HTML or CSS options unless you know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, as we do not support custom changes. Let's move on to the custom fields or the custom options that we've added in. For this, click on the custom fields tab. One quick thing that I wanna mention is that if you ever experience the page seeming a bit slow, which is this dashboard page, then simply refresh it. There's a lot of events that occur in the preview area and sometimes that can drag things down and that's only a preview problem. This will not happen in the version that is in your OBS studio. Anyways, hide alert allows you to change this into a standard event list by changing this to yes. So if you're hiding the alert portion of the alert list, it basically becomes a standard event list. While I'm talking, I'll probably edit in an example of what the event list looks like when this option is enabled and disabled, and then we'll go ahead and probably edit in some other options while we're covering the rest of the custom options. Let's keep looking at these though, some of which are for the alert part only, and then others are for the event list part only. Alert pause time is the amount of time in seconds that the alert pauses for before it goes into your event list. So if you want the user message to stay up a little longer, you can just adjust this time up a bit and then it will stay on the screen a bit longer. Mute sounds allows you to mute the custom sounds included with the alert portion. And then volume allows you to adjust the volume percentage that the video plays back at. This next option, alert video offset, is actually one of the most important options if you're using the full alert list. This is the amount of pixels to offset the video from the event list vertically. This means that if you have it set at negative 200, then your alert will appear 200 pixels up vertically from where your event list is positioned. If you increase this to positive 500, then the alert video will appear 500 pixels below the event list. The list offset X and Y option is the amount of pixels to offset the list from the left or right side of your screen and the top and bottom side of your screen. So if you increase the X amount to 200, the list will be 200 pixels away from the left or right side of your source window, depending on if you have flip X or flip Y enabled. Animation speed is the percentage speed that the widget animation plays at. We do not recommend changing this option if you wanna use the custom sounds that we've included, as it will distort and play back the sounds at this speed as well. So if you have this set to 200, then the widget will play at two times the speed and 50 will play it at half of the speed. Then the items for tag and name will change the settings for these particular items. So the tag is usually on the top and it contains the words like sub, resub, follow, etc. And the name area is on the bottom of each alert and event and this is where the username will appear. Since there's two parts of the alert list, which is the alert and event list portion, certain options below only change the parts for that particular portion. An example of this would be tag and name font size for the list. This will only change the font sizes in the event list portion. 
tag and name font size for alerts will only change the font size in the alert portion. This allows you a little freedom if you want your event list a little bigger or smaller, and maybe you want your alerts more noticeable. Anyways, then we have options for the font color and then the font weight for each of these. The font weight is the width or boldness of the text. Then we have tag and name text shadow color for the alert. In the alert portion, there are text shadows behind the tag and name, and you can adjust these colors here. Hide name tag in alert allows you to hide the name tag portion in the alert, which will just make it a bit more minimal since the name is gonna pop up in the event list anyways. It's just an option we wanted to include. Border color is actually in both portions of the alert list, and the alerts have a border color around the name tag, and then in the event list, they have a border that divides each event. This option will change the color of that area. Now, big tip threshold is the amount a tip needs to be in order to trigger the animation with a wreath around it. So we just consider this a big tip, which is by default set to 10. Enable user message means do you want to have the user message for the alerts that support it? So during an alert, your user message will display if you have this set to yes or enabled. User message offset is the amount of pixels to offset the message vertically. This option will be useful if you change the name and tag font sizes in the alert portion, or if you disable the name tag completely. You can then adjust where the user message appears and then finally, we have the message font size, which is the font size for the user message. Anyways, after you tinker around with all of these options and you have what you want to use, make sure to run a few tests to see if things are working properly. If you happen to notice that your alert portion is missing, it's likely that the alert video offset is set in a way to where it's pushed off the screen. So you'll need to adjust that. Let's move on to setting up the standard alerts included with your download. In your files, you can open up the standard alert folder and we've included the alert video files that already have sound with them, the muted version of these alerts and the sound files themselves if you'd like to somehow swap those out or just use them somewhere else. Anyways, to get started, click on the alerts quick setup link to begin installing these alerts. If you'd like to choose create widget theme and name it something appropriate, such as prestige alerts, and then the import link that you're using will only override your alert package, meaning that you can combine these alerts with other scene collections that you might have in Streamlabs. If you want to save your old alerts, it's highly recommended to do this in a new profile. Select use for the profile that you want to import into and navigate to the alert box section and copy your unique URL. Once you have that, go ahead and paste this URL into the browser source of your streaming software. We recommend setting the size to at least 1260 by 800 pixels. And if you need to scale down, you can do so directly inside of OBS Studio or your streaming software. And if you're using Streamlabs OBS, and you already have a alert box inserted as a source, you may not need to complete this step. Once you have this added in your streaming software, you can go ahead and test a few alerts out to see if things are working properly. Now let's go ahead and look at how we can adjust this. One of the options I wanna mention that does work here that's a standard option is the alert duration, which you can change to be as little or as much as you'd like. Also, if you like, you can use sounds as normal with Streamlabs and you can mute our custom sounds if you like to use your own sounds. So anyways, let's go ahead and check out the custom fields tab for each alert. The mute sounds option allows you to mute the custom sounds we've included with the alert. And then the volume slider here will allow you to adjust the volume that the alerts play back at for just the custom sound portion. Animation speed is the percentage speed that the alert widget plays at. We do not recommend changing this if you wanna use the custom sounds that we've included as it will distort the sound and speed things up or down. Anyways, if you have this set to something like 200%, it will play at two times the speed and 50% will play at half the speed. If you've used the alert list or followed that portion of the video, you may notice that some of these options are the same, 
but there's a big difference right here with the top and bottom line template, which will allow you to change the text templates used for each alert. You can use dynamic tags such as name, amount, count, and months inside of curly braces in these text boxes. The font is the font family used for the alerts where the default is Orbitron. And then the top and bottom line font size is the size for each of the respective areas. The top and bottom line font color will change the font colors for these. And then font weight is the width or boldness of the text. Finally, we have top and bottom line shadow color, which will change the text shadows that are behind the upper and lower portions of this alert. User message offset is the amount of pixels to offset this message vertically. And this of course will work for things like resubs, donations, and anything that supports user messages. And this will be very useful if you need to adjust the font size of your alerts and then just move the message down just a bit. The other user message settings can be found in the user message tab below, and they will work pretty much as normal, which allows you to enable and disable them, change the font that's actually used here and the font color as well. Now let's go ahead and check out the subscriber or donation alert so that you can notice that we've already added in some variations under the alert variations tab for these alerts. Let's say you wanna make a new variation or just change the way that these work. You can actually make your own by clicking the button that says duplicate the alert with current settings and then going into the alert variations and editing them as needed. The last quick tip that I wanna share with you is that if you'd like to edit the color of the alert icons or event list animations, you can do so with a color correction filter. We actually designed this to be able to shift a bit. To do this with OBS Studio, you can right click the source for your event list or your alerts and then choose filter and add a color correction filter. And in this, you can adjust the hue, brightness, and saturation of the source. If you've left the options to their defaults after you've imported things, then it makes it really easy to just shift everything towards a color that you'd like to use for your stream. And with all that, you should now know everything that you need to know for installing, using, and customizing the Prestige Alert List, Event List, and Alert Pack. We really hope that you enjoy this type of product and the idea behind the alert list in general. We'd love to bring this to more products in the future, but it really depends on the response that we receive from an item like this and the next one that we're gonna release. For us, it's a pretty big undertaking to make something like this. So we would just wanna make sure that you guys like it before we invest too much time into them. If you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe with notifications on to see our next package as soon as they're available. Thanks for watching.